West Virginia Governor Jim Justice, thank you so much for talking to us on Capitol Review. So you've been making national headlines all throughout this pandemic and you're in the national spotlight again. This time it's a non-traditional topic. You want to completely eliminate West Virginia's personal income tax. Now the why is obvious. We know why, but what I want to know is why now do you think it's a good time to get rid of the personal income tax to help your constituents? Well, the bottom line of the whole thing is West Virginia has been losing population since 1950. The only state in the country, I mean, where our country's doubled in population and we've backed up. And now is the time because West Virginia is healthy from the standpoint of surpluses that we're producing. You know, we're coming out of this pandemic in a way that is, is the envy of the nation and everything. And absolutely the timing now with the whole world looking right at West Virginia, it couldn't be a better time than to do it right now. And so, of course, a lot of people are wondering how much cash would each uh, West Virginian individual end up with based on your plan? Well, every single wage earner becomes cash positive, and not only just cash positive, but throughout the year, if they pay a little bit more in consumer sales tax or a little bit more in cigarette tax or a little bit more in soda tax or whatever, they come out significantly still cash positive, every wage earner. Even the wage earners that, that aren't even paying income tax, we give them $52 million of cash rebate checks. And so as we go through this whole scenario, we want one thing and one thing only, and that is to create every, a situation where everybody's cash positive, and as an average, every household in the state of West Virginia as an average will have an increase of $1,483. They will spend it. They will spend it throughout all of our economy and our small businesses will really boom. And it's a, it's a bad mistake to think that that's not going to happen because all you've got to do is just look around and imagine a billion, $87 million back in the hands of our people. So of course, a lot of people are wondering, first they're happy to hear this, but also there are people who are wondering if this is going to put money back into people's pockets, well, who's going to be making a, a difference to avoid a shortfall? Someone's gonna to have to pay for that. Well, the way we've done this, we have, spread, we've, we've spread the pain out, if you could call it pain. We've done a little bit in the increase in consumer sales tax, a little bit on, bit on our nat natural resource industries where we've tiered coal and natural gas and everything, a little bit on, a, on the very wealthiest people from a luxury tax if you buy a $5,000 one item bracelet or whatever it may be. But we've, we've brought into, into the fold our professionals from the standpoint of our lawyers and accountants and, and, and advertisers and so on and so on that really have not been paying any consumer sales tax while our plumbers and electricians are. You know, and what's going to happen is we're just going to create more business for our lawyers and our accountants and so on like that. And that will grow their business. And right now we're stagnant because we don't have any people. I mean, we're losing people every day. But you know, you have a lot to be confident about because West Virginia has been doing extremely well in a variety of sectors from tourism to your COVID efforts, especially in comparison to other states. So now with the American Rescue Plan, how do you plan to use the money that's set aside for West Virginia? Well, we've managed the first allotment of CARES money or the second allotment, and we've done that very well. We've protected our people through all of this and everything. And with all this that comes, there's, there's dollars that can be used for infrastructure. There's so many different aspects of, of what could come out of this. Now, frankly, I was one that advocated go big or don't go. You know, I've all, and so from the standpoint of Republican, Democrat, and whatever, I, I'm just not there. I think we should first and foremost be Americans and then first and foremost be West Virginians. Now, with all of that, you know, where I'm at, is, is in one spot and in, in one spot only. And that is just this, I am not for bailing out pension plans. I am not for pet projects. And there's a lot of that in this bill that I couldn't be for. But, it, but what is going to happen with this in West Virginia is you're going to have increased dollars that you can do a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff from schools to hospitals to infrastructure to broadband to all kinds of things that will really materially help West Virginia. And you know, speaking of the American Rescue Plan, you were pretty vocal earlier this month that you were upset with Senator Manchin and his provisions in the American Rescue Plan that could restrict how states use the money. 
And on the other end of it, you know, Senator Manchin has said he disagrees with your plan to eliminate personal income tax. Do you guys, do you think you can work out the differences? Well, first of all, you know, Senator Manchin and I have been friends a long time, and I guess friends can bicker and all, all that. I adamantly think that what Joe did was he put the language into the bill. I mean, the language basically said states are not going to be able to use any form of the, the dollars towards, you know, income tax relief and everything, or tax relief. Well, we're not doing that. I mean, we're, we're not, we've got to play exactly by the rules. And at the end of the day, I hope to goodness that Joe's thing didn't spoil an opportunity for all West Virginians and everything. I think it's a mistake. I think it, it's a childish, or childish political move, you know. But you see, I don't, I'm, I'm not into political moves and everything. It was a, basically a hit back on my state of the state where I announced this. And whether you're for it or against it, we shouldn't be doing things that throw obstacles in the way of West Virginians. And you know, last question, congratulations on all of your successes with vaccine distribution in West Virginia, really just leading the pack in the nation. So how do you plan to continue this momentum? Well, one thing we've done from, from day one is we've kept West Virginians together. We've not absolutely just gone in 5,000 different directions and everything, and, uh, and, and the people of West Virginia deserve the credit. Really, at the end of the day, uh, I was surrounded by a lot of medical superstars and everything, and we pushed the right buttons and we had to push them timely and everything, and, uh, and we're going to continue to just do exactly that. And uh, we're going to continue to lead the way because we've led the way from the beginning, and we're going to lead the way till this thing's over.